Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, a couple of tips that came out of the fight between uh, Igor Pograjic and um, uh, Fabio Maldonado at uh, UFC on Fuel 3. They were spending a lot of time in Muay Thai, we would call it a double neck clinch. From this position, um, Fabio was able to get a whole load of body shots and decent shots in on the body of Igor from this position. He took what should be a really uh, dominant position and turned it into a position where he actually looked very vulnerable. And the key to him looking very vulnerable was that he didn't dominate actually the height and the uh, posture around the head. So he allowed his opponent to be in at the same level as him with the head here, the other side, so pretty much equal heights on the head. He's got a very nice grip going on and he's securing this well. But a couple of things happened here. Number one, this person's not really carrying any weight because I can't get on top of him from this position and rest my weight on him. And number two, he's enabled, uh, he's, uh, enabled to get his hips forward, far, uh, far enough forward that he can throw power into these body shots. So because Charlie from here can drive his hips forwards, he can start throwing some real big power into these shots from here. He can be coming over the top because we can just move his head out of the way. Give me all kinds of problems. This is entirely different if I can get this head down and underneath and dominate on top of the head from here. So when we're doing the double neck clinch, a primary um, piece of the jigsaw that we're trying to achieve is to get dominance over the top of the head like this. Now this isn't easy, but if we can get it, we can start making this person carry some of our weight. And just as importantly, we can destroy his posture. So all of a sudden his hips are kicked back, his upper body's hanging down like this, and he can still throw shots to the body, but when he throws them now, they're gonna be much weaker. He's not gonna be able to drive his hips into them, and he's really gonna to have to worry about these shots coming up the middle. They might go into the body, I might lift the head slightly and get it into his head from here, but we have to dominate that position. So when we're looking for these double neck clinches, the second we get them, we have to dominate that level. So from here, if I see Charlie dip his head slightly, and I think this is a good time to go for it, I need to secure my head on top quickly. Squeezing the elbows in is the other big control point from here. My hip should be out and my head should be up. So chin above him, but not looking down from here. Then if he wants to fight out of this, he has to drive his head up, spend all kinds of effort, and I should be able to get some solid strikes in. Now once he comes back up the top, I can either try and dip that head back down and scramble it back down again, or I'll just give it up and go to a different kind of clinch and secure a bit more from here. What I don't want to do is when he drives, when and if he drives his head back up to that same level from there, just hang on aimlessly in this position and allow him to start unloading on me from there. So this tip is about head level, posture, and not letting the person get strength in the uh, Muay Thai double neck clinch when they're caught in it. So, as early as you can, dominate the head, get the chin above, don't hang around in a, an equal height position with your opponent.